There are a lot of cameras in the world. But the hero in this film is the legendary Raleigh I-35. Nineteen forty five year. Germany ends World War II with an almost destroyed economy. The country is divided into two. The western part remained in the democratic community, and in the east, 300,000 Russian soldiers remained for 45 years, maintaining totalitarian communism. 1966. Propaganda footage from East German television shows new camera models produced at the confiscated largest lens factory, Carl Zeiss. Their production stopped in 1989 with the fall of the communist regime. At the same time in West Germany, life has gotten better. The legendary Beetle is a favorite car of young families who travel freely. What is missing? This is the small camera that can be kept in the pocket. German engineer Heinz Waske found an ingenious solution, he created this small technical creation. In his home, Waske made the first technical drawings of the idea of the camera. March 1965, Raleigh Eyes managing director accidentally got a first glimpse of his employee's tiny prototype camera. At last the world would see Waske's tiny camera. The Raleigh I-35 series remains one of the smallest 35mm cameras, it is a unique technical work. This camera has not been used in over 50 years. We unlock the cover. We enter the dark part of the camera, there we put the roll of film. The rewind mechanism works after we pull the lens forward. We put the cover back and lock it. Take several blank shots, releasing the shutter and advancing the film, until frame counter reads 1. Turn it until the film speed of your film. The right ring is for the aperture. The lens ring is for focus it is manual only. The left ring is for the shutter speed. For correct exposure, make sure the arrows match. The camera is ready and we will take the first pictures. For the first shots, I chose a place 20 miles from London that is historic, poetic, and iconic a refuge dedicated to beauty, this is Sissinghurst Castle Garden. The site of Sissinghurst is ancient and has been occupied since at least the Middle Ages. Created by Vita Sackville West, poet and writer, and her husband Harold Nicholson, author and diplomat, it is among the most famous gardens in England. The present-day buildings began as a house built in the 1530s by Sir John Baker. The buildings scattered around the site were converted to become an unconventional home. Part of the long brick gatehouse range from Sir John Baker's construction of C.1533 became the library, or big room. The statuary at Sissinghurst was not always of the highest quality. And Scott James describes this one of Dionysus as looking particularly depressed. The property has an iconic status in LGBTQ culture, Adam Nicholson has noted rivers of lesbians coming through the gate each spring. The National Trust took over the whole of Sissinghurst in 1967. Since then, the number of visitors has steadily increased. With my granddaughters Sophia and Yanina, we are at Buckingham Palace. They will make their first attempt at shooting with a Raleigh I-35. Yanina is very excited, she holds this little camera in her hands and has already learned how to set it up. Observe all instructions, Yanina is ready for shots. 
We've taken the first shots and now it's time to take the film out of the camera. After the last picture, the film has to be rewound. Turn the lever upwards. Unfold the crank and turn in the direction of the arrow until the resistance of pulling the film disappears. Unlock and remove the camera back, and take out the cartridge. We are excited while developing our film. Whether, this 50-year-old camera, still has, the blaze of glory. The negative looks good, but to see our results we will use a modern scanner. It must be well cleaned of dust. We use cotton gloves, so as not to damage the negative. Enjoying our photos, we remember the light in which they were taken. We can see that the bright sun makes the photos contrasty, and those in the shade have good halftones. The more we shoot, the more experience we will gain. In the next episode, we will get on the train to the past. The camera with which we will shoot is almost 100 years old. Produced by Kodak, we will enjoy how our grandfathers took pictures.